I know you're there. I thought you'd have found a way out by now. A clever, cunning woman like you. Do I look like Harry Houdini? I wouldn't know you're in the back of a van. Look. I'm not going to dob you in, OK? I swear on Jimmy's life. Well, you're not willing to put your own neck in the block. Of course. That too. Whatever. Just please. Please. Open the door. You're mucking me around, aren't you? You've got no intention of letting me out. You're just going to let me die in here? Let poor Jimmy find my body, frozen like a fish finger? You wouldn't dare. You're too spineless. All this Mr. Big, swanning round like you're Al Capone. Well, you're nothing but a rubbish two-bit tea leaf. Oh, that tongue of yours. Even your lips are turning blue and it's still getting you into trouble. I think you should stay. No! Hopefully someone else will come riding to your rescue. Mac! Please, I, I didn't mean it seriously. I was having a laugh. It's all right, mate. Jimmy, bad news. That dodgy PI fella's been sniffing around again and your nickel has gone after him. You what? Yeah, all guns blazing. You should have seen that icy cold look in her eye. <laughs> yeah, no, but I reckon there's going to be trouble. Where is she? She falls into the scrapyard. So I'd get there sharpish. Mac! Mac! Amy, what is it? I've got something urgent on. No! No, it is not all right for Juliet to take the kids. I know I was supposed to pick them up at one. I've just got this one thing. I'll be straight there, OK? Oh. Well, don't look like Arvin is interested in what tripe you've got to say, either. I'll wait. Keep torturing yourself. Fine, your call. Ooh. Hey, you could help me get in party mode. Dig in. I'm all right, thanks. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Alki. Hmm. You see, you've got your faults and all. I don't cover mine up and bully people I love, though. Why don't you just go, Pet, eh? Save face. It's not as if Vinnie wants you here, either, is it? The longer you lie to Mandy, the more she's going to hate you. Mandy adores me. That is until she learns the truth, which she will. We both know the beatings aren't going to stop. Look, you know it's not a good idea to keep pecking at my head. Like the last time you threatened me, and we both know how that ended. Wasn't scared of then, either. You sure? I love Vinny, right? And he trusts me. So does Mandy. What's she going to think when I beg him to tell the truth? He won't. So you admit it, then? Admit what? You know, you're just, you're just trying to trick me up. Well, you know it's true, don't you? I mean, what kind of sicko beats up his own son? I don't. Then lies about it and hires people like Connor to cover it up, makes disgusting excuses. You need to back off. Why? Truth hurts. You're such a failure, Paul. I'm warning you. Gambler, liar, thief, bully. I mean, I could go in all day. Because you're a loser and you're a letdown to your whole family. Stop it. And you'll soon see that you're a sad, weak, pathetic little man. Shut up!